you ever wondered what it's like to live the fancy life of a big time movie star? Well, get ready to step into the glitz and glamour as we take a closer look at the captivating life of Matthew Perry, a talented actor who has graced both the big and small screens. Welcome to Mostly Wealth, where we're about to explore on an unforgettable journey through the highs and lows of Matthew Perry's extraordinary life. We're exploring the remarkable career and personal journey of Matthew Perry, exploring his rise to fame, his struggles, and the lasting legacy he's left on the entertainment industry. But here's where it gets even more interesting. As we explore Matthew Perry's journey, there's a hidden surprise waiting to be uncovered. Stick around till the end and I'll reveal a fascinating twist that adds a luxurious touch to Perry's Hollywood life. Matthew Perry, renowned for his roles in both American and Canadian television and film, rose to international acclaim in the 1990s through his portrayal of Chandler on the hit NBC sitcom Friends, earning him a Screen Actors Guild Award. Beyond Friends, Perry showcased his talent in various projects, including the television series Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip, and notable films like Fools Rush In, Almost Heroes, The Whole Nine Yards, The Whole Ten Yards, The Ron Clark Story, and Seventeen Again. Additionally, he lent his voice to the character Benny in the video game Fallout New Vegas. In the realm of television production, Perry demonstrated his versatility by creating, co-writing, executive producing, and starring in the ABC sitcom Mr. Sunshine in 2011. Later, he portrayed sportscaster Ryan King on the NBC sitcom Go On from 2012 to 2013. Notably, Perry collaborated on a revival of the CBS sitcom The Odd Couple, where he played Oscar Madison. Born on August 19, 1969, in Williamstown, Massachusetts, Perry spent his formative years in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, under the care of his mother, Suzanne Marie Morrison, a Canadian journalist. His father, John Bennett Perry, an American actor and former model, played a role in his upbringing despite his parents' divorce when Perry was just an infant. Growing up, Perry attended Rockcliffe Park Public School, where he crossed paths with future Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau before later studying at Asbury College. Perry's early passion for tennis led him to become a highly ranked junior player. In his personal life, Perry held dual citizenship in Canada and the United States. He was romantically involved with several notable figures, including Yasmin Bleeth, in 1995, Julia Roberts from 1995 to 1996, and Lizzie Kaplan from 2006 to 2012. Notably, his appearance on the Ellen DeGeneres show in 2009, where he gifted an Xbox 360 system and a copy of Fallout 3 resulted in his casting in Fallout New Vegas by game studio Obsidian Entertainment. Perry's journey into the entertainment industry began at the age of 15 when he relocated to Los Angeles to pursue acting, graduating from Buckley School in Sherman Oaks in 1987. Even during high school, he honed his craft through improvisational comedy at LA Connection, laying the foundation for his illustrious career in show business. Following his high school graduation, Perry embarked on his acting journey, securing his breakthrough role as Chaz Russell in the sitcom Second Chance. This series underwent a transformation after 13 episodes, honing in on Chaz and his circle of friends, leading to its rebranding as Boys Will Be Boys. Perry's silver screen debut occurred in 1988 with A Night in the Life of Jimmy Reardon, in 1989, he portrayed Sandy, Carol Silver's boyfriend, in a three-episode arc on the sitcom Growing Pains, tragically killed in a drunk driving accident, 
transitioning to regular television roles, Perry joined the cast of the CBS sitcom Sydney in 1990 as the younger brother of Valerie Burton Ellis' character. His versatility shone through as he guest starred on Beverly Hills 9000 in 2010 in 1991 as Roger Azarian. In 1993, Perry headlined the ABC sitcom Home Free, which aired for 11 episodes during the spring season. His dedication to a pilot project prevented him from pursuing another opportunity in France, later renamed Six of One. Yet, fate intervened when he auditioned for Six of One and landed the iconic role of Chandler Bing, becoming the youngest member of the main cast at 24 years old. By 2002, Perry and his Friends co-stars were each earning $1 million per episode, reflecting the immense success of the show. His portrayal of Chandler earned him an Emmy nomination for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series. Before we move on to his personal life and struggles, why don't you hit that like button? Despite his professional success, Perry faced significant challenges, including a battle with opioid abuse that led to a life-threatening gastro and intestinal perforation in 2018. He spent five months in the hospital, enduring a two-week coma and relying on a colostomy bag for nine months. Against the odds, Perry survived with the help of medical interventions, including ECMO technology. In November 2020, he announced his engagement to literary manager Molly Hurwitz, though the relationship ultimately ended in 2021. Perry continued to work in television and film, taking on various roles and projects. Perry expanded his repertoire with guest appearances on Scrubs and directing an episode of the show featuring his father. His performance in the TNT movie, The Ron Clark Story, garnered critical acclaim, earning him a Golden Globe nomination. Continuing his collaboration with Aaron Sorkin, Perry starred in Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip from 2006 to 2007 as Matt Albee, drawing parallels to Sorkin's own experiences in the television industry. From 2015 to 2017, Perry headlined as Oscar Madison in the revival of the sitcom The Odd Couple on CBS, where he also contributed as a co-writer and executive producer. Perry showcased his playwright skills with the world premiere of The End of Longing at the Playhouse Theatre in London on February the 11th, 2016. The play later transferred to Off-Broadway, opening at the Lucille Lortel Theatre on June 5th, 2017, alongside Jennifer Morrison, concluding its run on July 1st after receiving lackluster reviews. In 2017, Perry reprised his role as attorney Mike Cresta in the spin-off series The Good Fight, derived from The Good Wife. He then portrayed Ted Kennedy in the miniseries The Kennedys after Kamala in the same year. Business Insider estimated Perry's net worth to be approximately $80 million as of October 2022. Remember that surprising twist we mentioned earlier? Well, get ready to be amazed. Matthew Perry's journey in Hollywood isn't just about his famous roles and his star-studded career. In fact, Perry once had a stunning penthouse apartment in Los Angeles that would make anyone jealous. Imagine this, breathtaking views of the city skyline, fancy amenities fit for a Hollywood star, and a super fancy place that everyone wished they had. It's the kind of luxury that makes his story even more interesting. As we wrap up our exploration of Matthew Perry's fascinating life, we've delved into the layers of his talent, resilience, and the surprising turns that shaped his Hollywood journey. From the highs of fame to the lows of personal struggles, Perry's story speaks to audiences everywhere. But beyond the screen, 
Perry's legacy goes beyond just his roles. It's a reflection of the human experience, its victories, its challenges, and its enduring spirit. Don't miss out on what's next. Click that subscribe button and join us as we continue our journey through the glitz and glamour of Hollywood's finest. Until then, stay curious, stay inspired, and stay tuned. Thank you.